The DJI Osmo Pocket is sold at about the same price as the DJI Spark Controller Combo. Now, depending on where you are or who's selling, the DJI Osmo Pocket may even be more expensive. So, if you have the money, which one would you buy? Well, hold on to your cash just yet because in this video, we are going to do a side-by-side -side comparison between the DJI Osmo Pocket and the DJI Spark. Hey, I know we're not comparing apples to apples here, but some of you may find value in this and it'll be a lot of fun. Let's go! At first glance, both cameras look about the same, but look at them side by side. They are not. See, the DJI Osmo Pocket camera sits on a 3-axis gimbal, so it has the tilt, the roll, and the yaw, while the DJI Spark's camera only has a 2-axis gimbal, so it has the tilt right here, and the roll right here. So it doesn't have a yaw, but it uses electronic image stabilization. Both cameras use a 1 over 2.3 inch CMOS sensor, and both shoot at 12 megapixels. The DJI Spark uses a 25mm lens at f2.6, and the DJI Osmo Pocket uses a 26mm lens at f2.0. On photo mode, both cameras have a top shutter speed of 8,000 of a second. The slowest the Spark could go is 2 seconds, and the Osmo Pocket could go as slow as 8 seconds. The Spark shoots barely 3,000 by 4,000 pixels, and the Osmo Pocket shoots at exactly 3,000 by 4,000 pixels. The Spark shoots JPEG images, and the Osmo Pocket shoots JPEG and RAW. Now let's talk about video mode. With the Osmo Pocket, you can shoot at either 30 frames or 60 frames per second at either 1080p or 4K. But with the DJI Spark, you have nothing to choose from but to shoot at 30 frames per second at 1080p. The DJI Spark shoots 24 megabits per second and this thing shoots at 100 megabits per second. Let's check how both cameras perform. I'm holding the Osmo Pocket on top of the Spark to get a similar perspective. Although the Pocket has a 26mm lens compared to the Spark 25mm, the Pocket appears to have a wider shot. Also, in the Spark's footage, the lack of a third axis in the gimbal is pretty noticeable. Now, it wouldn't be fair for the Spark to be judged on handheld shooting, would it? So, let's send both cameras up in the air and see how they compare. We're doing a palm launch because I can't set this on the ground flat. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. I've not set record yet. We are airborne. When I taped the pocket on the spark, I didn't realize that it was blocking the vision sensors. That beeping that you hear is the spark doing an auto landing. So we have a failure in the design here. Uh, you can see that the pocket is covering the, the sensor. I knew it would be a problem, so we are going to redesign this. I have already redesigned the attachment here. Let me show you here. here. So I attached a block of a styrofoam underneath the Osmo Pocket here and uh, I wrapped it around with packaging tape and you can see here that I also wrapped packaging tape here just so the, prop the propellers don't hit the tape okay so none of the propellers hit the tape so here it's clear okay and a 
our vision sensor is now free. It should not cause us any problem anymore. Let's fly! And also because um, the, the pocket is now on top of the spark, I can now lay this flat on the ground to do my takeoff. First, I'm gonna hit record. The Osmo pocket is now recording. I'm gonna set it on the ground. Let's do a takeoff. Now that we have GPS, we can take off. Both cameras are set on auto exposure here. Again, the pocket appears to have a wider perspective compared to the spark. You may notice the pocket's footage being shaky. That's probably because of the vibrations caused by the motors of the spark. But it is very noticeable that the Osmo pocket took better exposure compared with the spark. So I had to stop the test because the application it's showing me a lot of different warnings like the motors have reached the top speed because of the payload. Also, the Osmo Pocket is interfering with its compass. So I had to stop it because I didn't want to lose both Spark and the Osmo Pocket. So one last time, this is the rig. So there you have it. An in-depth comparison between the Spark and the Osmo Pocket. What have we learned here? Well, obviously, we shouldn't be comparing one with the other because they both serve different purposes. The conclusion is the Osmo Pocket has a better camera than the DJI Spark. But the DJI Spark flies, the Osmo Pocket doesn't. But the Spark's camera is great though. It's just that when we compare it to the Osmo Pocket, the Osmo Pocket's camera is better. So as the consumer, it is now up to you as to what purposes you have the cameras intended for. So we leave the question unanswered. If you had the money, which one would you get? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel.